Hello folks. Today we're going to be building a Tori app for Android. And I'm going to be building it on Windows 11. <coughs> and I'm just going to do the default app. And the main reason for doing this is in case anybody's having issues in this kind of environment, Windows 11 Android emulator for Tori. Hopefully this will help watching somebody go through it. So we're going to start like they talk about on the documentation um, for prerequisites. It's actually good documentation. I would recommend going through it. The hard part is that they have so many different configurations um, that sometimes you get lost as to which one they're talking about. So I'm just going to be doing the Windows 11 or Windows um, steps that you have to do. So this that, that Windows 11 is my current system. That's the, one of the system dependencies. Um, I already have Rust installed and later I'll be configuring for the mobile targets. So for Windows, we need Microsoft C++ build tools. Um, I was familiar with going through the standard UI of Visual Studio Installer. So I'll just show you the items that are installed on my system here. I think the main things are like the CMake tools and um, SDK probably, but that should be enough for like command line tools of building on uh, a Windows system. So that's done. WebView 2 is already installed in Windows 11, so I don't have to do that. I'm not going to be building an MSI installer. Uh, like I mentioned, Rust is already installed. It might be interesting to see um, if there's a newer version of Rust. So I'll just run through that. Hopefully that won't take too long. Famous last words. So all bets are off for whether this is going to work. It just worked as in my practice run, but now we'll have a new version of Rust. We'll see if it still works. Okay. I guess that's installed. I'm going to exit out and start a new command prompt. Oops. Okay. Android Studios already installed. I downloaded that. installed that. Um, one thing that I thought was a little confusing more actions SDK manager languages and frameworks SDK SDK tools. That's where you get to the checkboxes that the 
Tori app talks about. These guys. So uh, I've installed those. Those take a while. Um, then we do the set the environment here for the Java Home and some other uh, Android Home and DK Home. And w these are run from a PowerShell prompt. So that's where those are found. Actually, this is PowerShell prompt to run those and then exit it and <coughs> uh, do the set command to make sure to make sure that those have taken effect. So we want to look for Android Home. Yep, Java Home and NDK Home. So we got three homes. Then we run the Rust up to target Android. Rust up target. Then we go through and we create a project. I put all of these things under just a subdirectory. get rid of anything that was there before and then we start doing our creation of the project and I took all the defaults So now we do the CD into the app, install, and the Android init. I already had PNPM installed on this system, so that's why I'm taking those command prompts as compared to some of the other prompts that they have. Now we're going to do the Android init. Make cool apps. Try and and then we want to finally to a dev environment for Android and build the Tori app. So if things are hooked up to Android Studio, it launches the Android emulator. I don't have a physical Android phone, so this is as good as it gets for me.
Here come the CPU fans. Getting good use out of that uh, voltage. Almost. Ta da! Welcome to Tori. standard output standard air that's it it worked I, I'm gonna quit while I'm at 